Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you all for being here. We've got some special guests here this afternoon. I want to do some introductions and do a presentation to some organizations real quick from our dealership. Some months ago, I met with Godfrey. I started talking to him about how we could best help serve our community. And we came up with a great idea. And that idea is more than just money. We would love to be able to give all the money that was possible to give to them, but uh, it takes more than just money to make something happen in a community. You need actual people involved in that. And that's where our champions will come in and our employees will come in. But we did have to and need to make a significant contribution to make things happen with this school district. So uh, we uh, have donated or, or contributed $30,000 to Cy Hope and we'd like to present this check to you, Larry and Godfrey, right now. This $30,000 is being used in a number of different ways. There's going to be a scholarship fund associated with it, some dual credit programs, and also sponsorship of some students at uh, Lone Star College. Okay, So uh, we look forward for more of this to happen in the future, and hopefully in a bigger and grander way too. Okay. We just want to thank you all for this uh, contribution to SciHope. We're all about making life better for kids in SciFair, and we have already awarded some of these scholarships for dual credit and certifications. It's for those kids that aren't college bound, but there's lots of fees associated with different certifications they can get. And then after they graduate from high school, they can go out into the workforce and be productive citizens. So you have already, with this money, given 58 scholarships to students that are the couldn't afford it. So be proud of yourselves and what you're doing and, and being that human resource in our community too. It's not all about the money, it's also about being present in the lives of these kids. So thank you and uh, continued thanks because I just see this partnership building and a relationship just being incredible as we go out into our community. So on behalf of everyone at Sci Hope, our board and everyone involved and the community, thank you so much. This is just awesome. I don't know how much uh, you all know about what Sci Hope does, but the, the basic uh, principle is to help any kids that are disadvantaged in any kind of way to have a little bit better life as they uh, come up through school and, and go on towards college and, and raising their own families. One of the um, aspects of it that I'm most closely involved in is a program called Durker's Champs and uh, that's basically just taking kids and putting them on teams and entering them in the SciFair uh, Youth Sports Leagues. We know that the very few, if any, of these kids that come through our programs are going to ever end up in the major leagues. But all of them are going to end up being adults. And so we, we talk to our coaches about sportsmanship, about character, about accountability, about all of those things that will help these kids to put life in perspective. But mostly, we talk to the coaches about allowing the kids to have fun. What we want them to do is come out to practice and games and see a coach that's really happy, really energetic, really supports them, gives them a lot of uh, pats on the back and a lot of good guidance for, for their life so that when they get to be adults and they think back about their experience in baseball when they were young, they will have happy thoughts. And when you see some of these kids that are eight or nine years old and they've never been on a team before and they get their uniform and they have their name on the back of it, well, you talk about a, a, a kid with just an innocent, just a come from within smile on his face. Uh, I, I wish you all could see that. Uh, and if you did, those of you that work here at the dealership would know that every time you sell a car, just a little bit of that money is going to help some of these kids in Sci Fair. So that's, that's what we are with Sci Hope in general, what I'm doing specifically, and we, we all thank you very much. Thank you, Larry. And briefly, I just want to piggyback on what Larry and Linda said. There are other areas of Sci Hope that uh, 
really are making a difference in kids' life, the uh, school adoptions, and I know this uh, uh, business has adopted a high school. There are also uh, Hope Centers and the backpack program that feeds children. We're now feeding over 1,000 children every weekend because they don't have food over the weekends. They get fed at the schools. And now over 1,000 children are getting backpacks of food every Friday. And so there's just a lot going on. We feel good about it. I want you, like Larry said, we, you need to be in your happy place. You need to feel so good about the kind of business you're working in and the leadership you're getting and the emphasis that you're making in the community. Because I am convinced, I've lived here almost 28 years, and I'm convinced that Sci Fair has its better days ahead of it. And so thank you. And you're a leader among the leading uh, businesses in our community. Bless you. I'd just like to say thank you to all of you. You may not understand totally what this means to the students. Our dual credit program allows students while they're still in high school to take college credits. And because they're in high school and many of them are in reduced lunch, their families could not pay those fees that would re allow them to take college credits. Through this scholarship and through this program, you're giving all of these students, and just now 57 of these students, a chance to go to college. And once they've taken usually one class while they're still in high school, they get bit by the bug and they decide they want to continue going to college and earn a degree. Now, we all know that the more education you have, the increased earnings that you have. And by having increased earnings, that means that they will be buying cars. So in your own way, you have recycled this all back around. But I would really like to thank all of you for stepping up to the plate. When I first got here, that was one of the things that I looked at, was the fact that many of the students who need to go into this kind of program did not have the resources. And for all of you to step up and say you're putting aside the scholarships for these students, you will be helping hundreds, if not thousands, of students start college. Thank you. On behalf of the Board of Directors and the staff at the Chamber of Commerce, we're so happy that you guys are just valued business partners. It's great to have business partners like SciHope, um, like Northwest Dodge, to be and make our community better. And so it's initiatives like this that um, just make our community stronger, and I agree. We have better days ahead of us, so we're excited where we're going. So thank you all individually for what you've given to this, and thank you. Mr. Wells? I guess it's my turn. Uh, I'm one of those schools that uh, would be the beneficiary of your, your generosity and, and the efforts of Cy Hope. Uh, uh, Cypress Creek is a high school that you've adopted, and we want to thank you for that. Um, and I see the other side of what Dr. Levy's talking about in terms of the uh, benefit to our students and the support for the dual credit programs, and also in terms of uh, trying to help our students just figure, figure out what they're going to do beyond high school. And I th uh, we have a uh, uh, some very enthusiastic uh, uh, teachers and kids over there right now because of a donation that we just recently received from Sci-Hope to help us with a signature project in our AIM Academy, which really, uh, Cypress Creek is, uh, reflects the sci community. We have uh, many students that uh, are classified as economically uh, disadvantaged and pro probably about one out of every two at Cypress Creek now. And a lot of these students uh, are going to be the beneficiary of, of the opportunity to work in this project which will motivate them to really go on beyond high school and to take advantage of dual credit programs and, as we've said today, to be able to better their lives. So thank you very much on behalf of Cypress Creek High School. We'll have Maggie come in talk up real quick about uh, volunteer time off, or VTO. You know, as we as employees go out into the community and do our service out there in the community, uh, the dealership will compensate you for that time away from the store. Uh, Maggie did that this past Saturday and went over to Cy Springs and participated in a uh, car show. So won't you come on up, Maggie, and talk about that a little bit? I think it's a really uh, awesome thing that our car dealership and our, our corporation in general is encouraging us to get out in the community and to service our community. Um, many of us have students in the Cy Fair School District. I myself have three. So it's really my pleasure to get out there and help other kids that are you know, students out there in the community get involved. Um, there's a lot of different ways to get involved. It can be something that is near and dear to your heart. Um, I got the fun of being to go to the car show this past Saturday, so it kind of mixed 
business was pleasure too because I got to be out there and talk about our products and talk to the kids about what they're doing. It was for the auto tech class um, at Cy Springs and they were really appreciative and really thankful for us showing up and we got a couple of trophies which is cool. Um, so I just want to encourage everyone to really take advantage of this volunteer time off. Um, it's a chance for you to get a little time away from the dealership and at the same time uh, give back to our community and our students. Better days are ahead for Northwest Dodge too. Yes. Yeah. This is exciting to be part of this dealership at this time. There's not a better time to be in the car business than right now. There's not a better time to be selling Chrysler product than right now. And I assure you there's not a better time to be working at Northwest Dodge than right now. So that's exciting. Um, uh, it's, it's really great to be associated with people. These are pillars of our community, folks. Pillars of our community. And. Um, you know, we're taking great steps in uh, getting recognized for what we intend to be doing in our community also.